Yo guys, today I'm doing five things I dislike about my new Aprilia 1254 stroke. This bike has many, many good things, but there's just a few bits which annoy me. And I will also be doing a five things I like about the bike. And the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. First thing I just like on this list about the bike is the dash. How cheap it is made and just how it looks overall. The no fuel gauge um, is my biggest issue. It doesn't have a rev counter, but that doesn't really bother me. The whole setup just looks like a mobile phone screen, really. <laughs> like a Nokia brick has been implanted in the dash. Number two has got to be the biggest issue. Probably should have put that at number one is the side stand which has a retractable spring on it so as soon as you lift the bike up it flings back up to the riding position which is not a good thing if you're not careful which you have to be very careful every time you're either picking up the bike or putting it on the stand because if it doesn't set on the floor properly that's coming straight out and the bike's on the floor i think there is a way that you can reverse the spring so that it stays down which is definitely something i'm looking into for mine because it's just dangerous i have to actually get off the bike first to be able to put the sand down rather than sitting down putting it down and then getting off number three for me would be the exhaust it's it's quite loud surprisingly for a 125 but the tone of it is horrible it gets really really hot the outer a bit of the silencer um it's just a horrible tone really it sounds like a 50 cc my friend's moped is louder now this is just in my opinion number four is the power well the lack of power it struggles to pull up hills without changing gear you'll struggle to go up in like fourth depending on the gradient um, I think the top speed I've got out of it is 71 down a hill, so that shows. I'm not sure if it'd be better after the first service, but in my opinion it's pretty gutless, first of all. But I will have to do another one of these once it's been rode in. Number five, final one, is storage. Now it's a super motor, so you're not expected. I wasn't expecting major storage, but it struggles to fit a pair of gloves in the under seat, which is another pain, which is an extra negative. The seat is a pain in the ass to put on and put off, take off, it is terrible. But like I said, to these negatives, there's a lot more positives. It's an amazing bike so far anyway.